Hey guys, it's 27 weeks pregnant right now. I actually only have nine days until I get induced. And why do I look like this? Because I only have nine days until I get induced. I wanted to share with you guys my top 10 must haves to survive the third trimester because what better time is there than this? So thanks for stopping by Anderson Lane and let's dive right in. Okay, so my number 10 on my list has to do with why I look like this today. When you are only nine days away from having that baby, or any time, honestly, in that last trimester, you can just have days where you just feel like you don't want to do anything. My best tip for that is this. Make sure you have one outfit that makes you feel like a thousand bucks, and do your makeup. So let's get ready with me right now. Okay guys, this is my pregnancy power outfit. It makes me feel good, it makes me feel like from the back I don't really look like I'm pregnant. From the side you can definitely tell because this big old bump sticks out, but it makes me feel good, it makes me feel powerful. It's all just in your head, but I promise you that if in the morning you get up and make your bed and get ready, you will feel so much better throughout the rest of the day. That is my number 10 survival tip for you. Now on to the rest. Okay guys, so number nine may seem a little silly, but I have not been able to live without these for this whole pregnancy, but especially in this third trimester. It is a water bottle. I know it seems silly, but I literally have like thousands of these, well not thousands, but I have one of these in probably every room of our house. I have one in my car, I have one everywhere. Um, and I fill them up and I just drink water all the time. Their third trimester, when the baby drops, you are just so swollen all the time. And believe it or not, but water actually helps. I feel better, I feel hydrated. It's just a way to make you feel better and try to reduce that swelling. So, tip number nine, water bottles. Tip number eight. So with the pregnancy rhinitis, you guys all know that I've had, it doesn't matter how good you are with the cross your legs and sneeze, something is bound to come out. Save yourself the hassle. Start using these now. You're going to have to use them after anyway. Just get used to them now. I promise you it will save you embarrassment. You guys all know my video of how I peed myself at church because I had a cough attack. These are a lifesaver. Get some. Tip number seven goes right along with that. Pregnancy rhinitis basically means you have a cold all the time. So, these, these, everywhere in your house. I have Kleenexes next to my bed. I have Kleenexes next to the recliner downstairs. I have Kleenexes in my car. I have Kleenexes in my purse. They're in my kitchen. They are literally everywhere because this gets full randomly and I can't breathe and I can't talk and I feel like I'm going to die. So I need to have these available so that I can blow my nose. And that's just it. So get them. Worth it. On to tip number six. This I happen to love and is something you will use after baby is born, before baby is born, you'll probably use it for forever, so it's worth the investment. It is this, a recliner. My husband splurged on this for me. I will put it in the link down in the description. It costs $230 or something around that, <clears throat> but it has been well worth it. I have actually slept in this on nights when my hips hurt too bad to sleep in bed. I have come in here and taken naps, and I just promise you, it is worth the expense. We are smack dab in the middle of the countdown, and this thing is a lifesaver. It will help you throughout your entire pregnancy, not just your third trimester, but especially in your third trimester. On those nights when you can't sleep, you can't get comfortable, this is what I turn to. The Pregnancy Countdown Book. I'll put the link down in the description below to the Amazon book. It is written by an OBGYN and she gets testimonials from moms who recently had babies or moms who are still pregnant and there is something for every single day of your pregnancy and ladies this goes beyond the 40 weeks so those of you that end up going 
to the full 42 weeks where they won't let you go past that, it goes into those. So there is something for everyone and it has points of view from women who have actually been there in the trenches with what you're going through. And it has been a lifesaver and a sanity saver for me. So check it out. On to the final four. Number four is the belly band. If you guys try to walk around in your third trimester, it can hurt. <laughs> you lose that center of gravity, your belly takes over, and it is just a pain. Get one of these. I didn't have this for either of my other two pregnancies. I so wish that I did. I don't use it every day, but if I know that I'm gonna be walking around a lot, I take this and put it on me, and it helps so much. There are tons of different ones. I will put a link to the one that I use down in the description. Number three. Okay, I've talked about it a couple of times about how right now with this pregnancy, I have pregnancy-induced carpal tunnel, basically in my right hand, but like right now I can't really feel these two fingers, and that's kind of how it is all the time. So I have one of these. It is a TENS machine, and you just turn it on and put it on your muscles and it kind of relaxes your muscles. I put this on the other night for like an hour in multiple different places. I had them on my forearms, on my hand, on my shoulder, on my back. I had them everywhere and after that hour, for the first time in two weeks, I was able to just walk up the stairs. So this has been a lifesaver. So if you have pregnancy induced carpal tunnel, get this. Or even if you don't, if you have those lower back aches like all of us get, you can put them on the back. So check with your OBGYN just to make sure that it's okay. Down to our final two things. I'm a little bit embarrassed to even show you guys this. I will have you know that this is the third pregnancy that I've used this with, but everyone, everyone should have one of these. I promise this is the one thing that is completely worth the money. Mine is absolutely disgusting and it has rips in it, but get yourself a pregnancy pillow. Your pregnancy pillow should basically end up having a name. It's basically the third partner in your marriage. These make it so that you can possibly find any sort of comfort during those last few weeks or last few months of pregnancy when your hips are sore, when your belly is just so big you can't breathe. It is a must have, must have. Everything else on this list is kind of, you can decide, you don't have to have it. This must have, get one. I promise you, you will thank me later. And my number one thing that every pregnant woman needs in her third trimester to survive is a support system. Whether that is friends, family, YouTubers, whatever it is for you, you need to find that support system to help you out. Pregnancy is hard, guys. You're growing a human. Your body is amazing, and you need to know that. And sometimes when you don't feel amazing, you need some other people to help lift you up. I am so grateful for all of you. You guys have been part of my support system this time. It has been great to be able to go and read your guys' comments. I am so grateful for you. Thank you guys so much for being part of my pregnancy support system. We love you. We hope that these tips help you guys, and we'll see you again next time. Bye.